Okay, I have a whole bunch of red pepper seeds that I, I, I think will grow into peppers if I do the right stuff. Oh, I could also plant a few beans. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do something about that now. If I go out here, right down here, I've got this raised bed and it's just got logs around it and those can decompose and, you know, feed the roots of whatever's in there, hopefully. So inside this box, I've been throwing all kinds of compost, some cardboard, just any, oh, there's a plastic lid in there. Whatever, I'll probably just ignore it. Mostly it's like compostable stuff thrown in here. So that box is supposed to be in there, but uh, I'm going to throw a bunch more stuff in here and stomp it down then put some dirt on top and hopefully I can plant some vegetables in there, right? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I also threw some, uh, what's that? Charcoal and ash, you know, from my, my fire here. Uh, every time I clean out the stove, uh, you know, I dump it on the ground and wherever I've been dumping it, things are growing really well. So I shoveled some into there. All right. I'm going to cut a bunch of grass, like all of this stuff and all that stuff over there and throw it in here and just, I don't know, any dead plant stuff I can find. I'm going to throw it in there, some dead wood, and hopefully that stuff will all decompose and feed my, uh, my peppers. Oh, I can put some of these in there too, coconut husks. You know, whenever I look at like videos of people doing plants or, you know, any kind of instructional thing, it's always like... Oh, and just plant it in your amazing, dark, amazing soil, which I don't have. I've just got, like, clay. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what I can do here. Jamie looked like he shrunk. What are you doing, Turkey? Oh, <laughs> well, we're working on the digging. Not entirely sure how much dirt is on there, but I hope it's enough. I don't know, it's kind of hard to find like dark, good looking dirt, but about maybe a third of this came out of a palm, like a palm tree, a coconut tree log that was just over here. I, I poked it with my shovel and it was just like bark with dirt in the middle and the dirt looked pretty good. And that coconut tree fell down about two, two and a half years ago. So I guess that's how long it takes a coconut tree to turn into dirt around here, which is not bad. Hopefully that log will be decomposed soon. I can use it for dirt. But the other places I found good looking dirt was at the base of this tree over here and in this spot over here where there used to be a tree that died. So maybe maybe trees make good dirt, which kind of makes sense because like, you know, all those bugs and crabs crawling all over the trees, they got to poop. So they all poop and it falls down at the base of the tree and then the trees dropping all these leaves and, you know, compost is happening at the bottom. Anyway, hopefully that's some good dirt, but I don't really know. Um, now with my peppers, do I want to plant them here or do I want to start them somewhere else and then put them in here once they grow a little bit? You know, I have a bunch of seeds, so I'm going to plant half of them right in here and the other half, I don't know, plant them inside in egg cartons or something. I don't know, coconut shells, whatever. Take a bunch and go plant them. Oh, I got more on that side than this side.
can't see any seeds. It must mean they're under the dirt. Okay. Let's just wait and see. Hmm. Speaking of trees, let's see how my trees are doing. Well, that's a mango right there. This guy's an avocado. Looks like he's doing pretty good. We lost a lot of leaves on the bottom. I don't know. I think he's all right. Got a bunch of bananas on that one over there. Oh, what do we got over here? Uh, rose apple, another mango, papaya, and an avocado is looking pretty good. Oh, I don't want a wasp nest under that. Sorry, dude. All right, here's another avocado tree right there. Let's go up the hill. Oh, this lemon tree that I never pay attention to. Looks like it's doing all right. It keeps losing its leaves to uh, different bugs. Right, it looks like it's growing them back. And then these are plantain trees. In one of my recent videos, I cooked some plantains and a lot of people thought they were bananas, but they were plantains, which are different than bananas. Oh, let's see. Avocado's doing good. This little water apple tree is not doing great. It's kind of doing terrible, actually. Still alive, though. Oh, there's my jackfruit over there. It's doing good. Cherry tree looks great. What is that sticking out the side? Is that new leaf things? Yeah, it's new leaf things, I guess. Anyway, I don't know. Those look different. It can't grow cherries when it's this small, right? Nah, it's just growing. I don't know. I'll find out. Here's my popcorn patch with some sweet potatoes and a few bean plants, too. I want to get some squash growing in here. I don't know what this is. Some plant. Yeah, all my trees up here look like they're doing pretty good. Yeah, they're all hidden in little spots. I know where they are because they're sticks. I guess I need to go mow the grass with my machete. I have two trees that have been having a lot of difficulty. This is a coffee tree, which I, mean, I don't even drink coffee, but it looks... Anyway, it died up here, but it's got little stuff coming out of it down there, so yeah, it looks like it's grown. This little twig here, dead looking thing, is the other one. But it's got some bits of stuff growing down here. It looks like something's eating the leaves though, because it had some little leaves on there. Come on, buddy, keep going. Maybe I can put something around this to protect it. I don't know though. It's like bugs want to get to something. They'll get to it. Wait a minute, isn't there something I can like spray on the tree that tastes bad to bugs or something? Like some soapy water or something like that? Yeah, 